Oh, also very quickly, I do have my Discord link down in the description. Just go ahead and click on it, send an invite over and we'll accept you on in. I did change it so that way the link never expires. So now anybody who's tried and hasn't been able to get in now has a chance to get in. I apologize for that. I will go ahead and I'll update all of my other YouTube videos where I have a Discord link in there and update it with the new link so that way you guys can get in and yeah. Oh, anyways, my name is Brendan Reuse and yeah. Here we go. So I've been hearing a lot of stuff about Tier 8. And with Tier 8, there's one mixtape film in particular that a lot of people have been like passing around that everybody says is the hardest to watch out of all of them. The absolute worst to stomach, the absolute worst in content, and for the love of God, even Cold Raven's Nest said on his channel that he was saving this one for the very end of Tier 8. So when he's done with every other mixtape on Tier 8, he was going to save this one as the final one to cover. I got one thing to say. I got, I just got one thing to say <laughs> it's terrible it is absolutely terrible so i'm talking about the lovely mixtape that is fubar what does fubar stand for it stands for fucked up beyond all recognition right and i'm here to disappoint and let you guys know that when i say it's terrible i'm not saying it's terrible because the mixtape is so hard to stomach you can't watch it i just oh my god i bleach no i'm telling you it's terrible because it's actually terrible. It's actually the worst mixtape out of any of the ones I have covered, which is kind of, which is kind of weird. Like I never thought I'd ever get to a point where I'm actually judging the quality on some of these things. So with MD Pope 1 and 2, right? And Snuff R73, these big ass mixtapes that have this horrific mythology, this whole drama behind it, right? And with FUBAR, you get this big status. Like this is the ultra dog. This is the one you do not want to fuck with. Yet it's probably the most stomachable one out of any of the ones I've like skimmed through. Let me explain what I mean by that. So first off, FUBAR still does have some of the most fucked up footage on the internet. It pulls together footage of ac car accidents, you got footage of animal abuse, you even got in there a little bit, which is absolutely disgusting and deplorable. And then you also got stuff like murder and suicides and just crime scene photos and autopsies and all that stuff. But you also got happy tree friends. Yeah, you also got footage from normal horror movies in this mixtape too. You also got memes a little bit too. And the music in it is not like the over the top, like heavy metal stuff that you would hear. It's like cartoon music. And I'm just gonna say it, it's the most obnoxiously weird, unique, and stupid thing I have seen come out of tier 8, and I absolutely fucking mean that. I am sorry to disappoint, but Cold Raven, you are wasting your time with this one, and I mean that. So I've heard uh, from tier 7 is basically the same thing as FUBAR, just minus some of the actual, like, gore of it. There's not as much gore in the or series as there is this one. But with this one, there is barely any gore in it to begin with. Um, from the few, from like what I could skim through, it's mainly just fetish. It's mainly just fetishes, right? And there's even like a moment where it's showing footage of a guy who defecated on stage um, during like a concert. It also has footage of a guy who's doing like this weird artsy thing in front of a crowd of like 100 people or whatever with like panes of glasses and whatever. And it's, 
I don't get it. I don't get the hype behind this one. What is the fucking issue with FUBAR? And like just to be just to give you an idea that the creator obviously didn't give a fuck with this one he just didn't care to actually try to find footage that would disturb the audience more than like the general premise of some of the stuff like the opening of it has this like circus showman basically saying come here welcome to my house of horrors welcome to the freak show basically and i'm telling you what this ends up leading into makes for one of the most stupid fucking things I think I have witnessed on this entire iceberg. So, as I said, there's Happy Tree Friends episodes in this thing, and I don't mean like as in there's frames of Happy Tree Friends or something like that, or it's only the gory bits. Like, they'll have a full fucking four or five minute episode inside of the fucking mixtape. They'll also have footage from horror movies. So, for example, I recognized one of the clips as coming from August Underground. I recognized one of the clips from also coming from Slaughtered Vomit Dolls. And I'm like, why the fuck are these in this? This is not the type of mixtape that I would expect to come from tier 8. This honestly feels like something that should have more come from like tier 7, given the fact that actual like gore, autopsies, car accidents, and all that stuff. That stuff is like not really all that prevalent in this. There's some of it, but it's not that prevalent. It's nothing like the MD Pope series where it starts off a little tame with like this guy who has a big ass nutsack, but it then devolves into that gory stuff. This just right out of the gate is just basically fetish stuff, and then every now and then you'll get something with some sort of like messed up footage of like, you know, car accidents, as I said. And I just am like, this is boring. This is really fucking tame compared to everything else. Like, some of the footage looks like it's pulled straight from the Traces of Death series from episode 18. I think that. There's even, like, a whole clip that is genuinely from the Traces of Death series. It's There's literally a scene where it's just, you know, um, in, I believe it's in Spain or Mexico, where they have these bulls running down the streets, and, you know, the people try to dodge the bulls, right? Try to get out of the way of them as the bulls are running down the street. And, of course, you see somebody who, you know, gets fucked up by one of the bulls and whatever. But, like, it was pulled from the 90s, and I can just tell. And I'm betting money it's from the Traces of Death films and i think that overall this mixtape is absolutely not worth the hype i don't get why the fuck you guys even care so much about this mixtape fubar fucked up beyond all recognition and truthfully where the hell did it get this reputation from cold raven i'm telling you right fucking now you are wasting your time you are wasting your time with this fucking mixtape man do not save this one for the very end because it is absolutely a complete waste of time it's not worth anything there's nothing of interest in it everything is just so tame compared to everything else the only thing in it that as i said is probably very hard to stomach and <laughs> it is for me too is type stuff and it's because it's pulled straight from the janky janky series and that's why i'm doing this one as episode 20 and um it's also an open mic one because episode 10 i open mic'd the janky janky series and just <laughs> was just talking off the top of my or just talking out of talking out of my ass and that's exactly what i'm doing here man i so when i did that video right when i did the janky janky video i had to i ended up finding it's the covers for all of them and so i went to the to, to your guys's pleasure and my guys's dis and my displeasure i downloaded all the covers and i blurred them all so you guys could at least get a sense of what like each one was each installment whatever but with this one oh fuck with fucking fubar i actually got the chance to like see a frame of it at a time because it was like the kind of thing where i would <laughs> I would like move forward in the timeline right so that way I could you know just like I'd be like all right I saw this part I'm gonna skip 10 seconds in and boom I'd be in the middle of all those things and I'd do that <laughs> I'd just be like fuck oh fuck and I'm like that is the only thing about this that even gets to me but here's the thing it is not anything that it, it's basically just a compilation of other stuff from the disturbing movie Iceberg. To me, it looks like footage from Tier 4, footage from 
Basically, it's like tier two, you got your happy tree friends. <laughs> it's like tier four, you got your vomits, your uh, slaughtered vomit dolls and fucking August Underground. You got your tier five, which is like your kind of staged and whatever. You got your tier sixes and sevens, which are your fetish and your like traces of death shit. And then you got very minimal of tier eight. So FUBAR is like an amalgamation of everything from the disturbing movie Iceberg, but with none of the impact that any of the other videos I have done have like actually been able to sustain. Like August Underground, man, deeply fucked me up for about <laughs> a few days after watching it. It deeply affected me. And that's why I've pushed off Mortem for so long, but I think Mortem is probably gonna be within the next five videos. Yes. And also, it's another reason why I would say that covering like tier seven with channel 309 and covering um, tier eight with MD Pope and Snuff R73, it has become very, very hard. Or they, they left these huge, Huge, huge impacts on me just simply trying to cover the mythology behind them simply trying to cover like the reputation and what has gone into like just the community around those mixtapes in particular like I didn't know that the MD Pope creator was hated until I started doing research and when I finally figured that out, it just started to like, all the synapses in my brain started to connect and it made for a very like, wow, like breathtaking experience just trying to hunker down and get all the information that I could get. It was very hard and impactful to get through some of the stuff that I've covered on tier eight. But with this one, motherfucking FUBAR, it's just an amalgamation of everything from the iceberg without any of the impact. None of it. Absolutely none of it. So guys, don't watch FUBAR. Cold Raven, don't fucking waste your time and let this one be the final one from tier eight. I mean it. This one sucks dick. It is absolutely terrible. It is one of the worst things I've seen on the iceberg. And for tier eight, it is surprisingly, I mean, it still sucks. I, I still wouldn't recommend you guys watch it. it. It is still very hard to watch. And that's why I skimmed through it. I'm not, I'm not actually gonna waste my time and watch it. But yeah, don't watch it. Do not watch FUBAR. On that note, my name is Brendan Reviews and I hope you guys have a great day, evening, night, whatever the fuck time you guys are watching this in. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you all next time.